It's uh, when it first started, I was joining that sort of rage of why does it take a bloody TV drama to get people to wake up to this? But actually, I've begun to see it as a as a positive thing. If we talk about housing, if we talked about housing, we would at some point mention Kathy Come Home. That was a TV program that that brought an issue to the fore. So um, well done, ITV. And and I think part part of the story you're telling there is about how important it is to put the individual human. I mean, maybe what we hadn't quite achieved in the last 10, 15 years of this is really bringing those human stories in a way that only a drama really can. It's when you actually see and feel the human at the end of the story that you get beyond a complicated story of IT systems procurement, who's right, who's wrong, sub-postmasters into actually feeling the yeah, but pain. If you, if you... That was a clip from my favourite podcast, The Rest is Politics, with Alistair Campbell and Rory Stewart. And they were discussing the recent ITV dramatisation of one of the biggest scandals in British history, and that was involving the post office. Um, for those of you who don't know this, this extraordinary story, uh, it spans two decades. I think it came to light in the early 2000s, um, and it involved hundreds of men and women who worked for the post office who were wrongly accused and convicted and prosecuted um, for fraud and theft. Um, and it turned out that actually it was the fault of an IT system and not, in fact, fraud or theft. And um, there was a judgment passed in 2019. But this story has now, through this dramatisation, really captured the nation's heart. It's dominating the airwaves on radio talking shows. It's on news shows. It's in newspapers. People are talking about the outrage they feel that how could these poor innocent people have gone through all of this. But as I said, it's not a new story. It's been unfolding over a couple of decades. So why are people so interested in what's happened right now? Now, I'm not comparing the post office scandal in any way, shape or form to customer experience or trivializing it in that kind of manner at all. But what I wanna highlight is the power of telling stories. What ITV did with this dramatization was tell the story in such a powerful way that it captured the hearts of the nation. They humanised the story by putting the human back to the centre of what happened. They put names and faces and brought to life the characters that were involved in this truly tragic story. And they were able to take people on the journey so that they did feel those feelings of anger and frustration and outrage. So why am I telling you this? In business, as leaders, we are reliant on stories to bring about change. Presenting data and spreadsheets and all insight and in, in reports and all those kind of things will, will do so much, but it's the power of telling stories that really brings about the conditions of change. When you put the human at the heart of what you're saying and bring to life those bits of data, that bit of information in a way that really connects you to what's happening, that's what brings around the conditions for change. You know, For example, if you are in a customer experience program, just reporting complaints and reasons for complaints will give people an awareness of what's going on. But actually playing those calls in a meeting, reading out those letters from customers, interviewing customers and playing that back in a boardroom has much, much more power than simply words on a written page. So I just wanted to kind of highlight to you as a leader in CX or any leader for that matter, Honing your skills in the art of storytelling is critical to your success. Your ability to really take information and data and tell stories that connect with your audience is a powerful way of bringing around change.